All right, guys, what's up? This is Don Clavi here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a tutorial on Thrace and how to make this cool effect. Thrace is just a basic plugin to crack uh, objects in Cinema 4D, and it is free. And I'll put the download link in the description. So basically, I'll just be going over how to make this cool glowing Thrace effect. All right, so let's get started. Just open up Cinema, 4 Cinema 4D once you have downloaded Thrace. And just I have my basic light uh, light studio here. All right, first let's make our text first. So go up to MoGraph and Mo Text. I'm going to type in. All right, type in cloudy. Uh, change the depth to 75. We're gonna go on caps, fill up cap. I'm going to uh, five steps, and then 3.6 centimeter radius. <laughs> And then I'm going to go to the font and I'm going to change it to wildcard. All right. So once once you have this done, uh, make sure to have Motex selected and go up to plugins, Thrace, and then Thrace again. So now basically just you're, here you're going to type in the amount of pieces you want each individual letter to break into. So I like anywhere between 15 and 25. So just type that in and press break now. And as you see it's breaking each uh, letter into 15 pieces. And it does take a while. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, so it's done. Then you could just exit out of that. And as you see it broke uh, each letter part into pieces and you could see them outline. All right, before you do anything, make sure to have all these uh, red X's checked green or the uh, effect won't work. All right, so once you have that done, uh, the way we're going to make the text crack is on this timeline. We're going to make it play. And as you see, as it's falling, uh, as it's falling, the text is breaking. So we'll just find a specific frame we want the, to make the image from. So it's not so it doesn't crack too badly or too little. So this seems like a good amount of cracks or a little more. All right, so I'm just gonna move my light studio down a little so so the light reaches the text. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to materials. So basically, just uh uh be oh yeah be uh the way you determine the which materials on the inside or the outside just open up each one each and doesn't matter which one and once you open it the material on the left is going to be always the material on the inside and the one on the right is going to be the outside material and see if you go over it inside outside so basically if you just change one of these materials they all change so just click on highlighted and it highlights here so just change this one and for the inside, make it a sky blue. And then uncheck specular. Check the fusion. And then check luminance. But make the luminance color the same as you did of the main color. So sky blue. Like so. And then, yeah, see, it changed all, all the materials in the letters. Alright, now the outside material, just click on it. Highlights this one, so change this one. Leave specular, uh, change the color to bright white, and then go on reflection. Make the brightness to the texture frenzel, the mix strength 1%, and the blurriness 3. And you see it changed all of them again. That's good. So now uh, the render settings go on the uh, render settings make the output 1280 by 720 like always make make the frame range current frame and go on to saves and then pick a destination so i'll just pick the stop and then make sure the format's B png and make sure it's alpha channel and uh, skip multi-pass and go on to anti-aliasing so make Make it choose best for anti-aliasing, and then uh, the the min level, 
put one by one and the max level two by two and then uh for go down to effect and uh, pick global illumination ambient occlusion and color correction and depth of field the render will take longer but the quality is much better all right so once you have all this done just exit out and render it and uh, i'll come back to you when it's all done and rendered all right so as you see i ran it out and the effect came pretty cool so it looks like the text is cracking and there's something glowing inside of it so it's a pretty cool effect for background so let's import this into photoshop and uh, let's use it for a background basically and i'll just show you some other examples i made um, here's one here's another the d cracking a lot and here's a good one all right so thanks for watching uh subscribe if you want to see more and uh, down recruit gfx recruitment challenges out so check that out